a martyr has the highest rank with Allah and the best position in the hereafter. There are many types of martyrs. And today, we will address this issue and try to highlight some important points in this regard. Three types of martyrs. Martyrdom is the loftiest rank to obtain and the best way to end one's life. This is due to the honor which Allah has granted and attached to such people and the abundant reward that He appointed for them. O Muslims, there are three types of martyrs. First, the martyr of this life and the hereafter. Second, the martyr of this life. Third, the martyr of the hereafter. First, the martyr of this life and the hereafter. It is he who is killed in a battle against the disbelievers whilst facing the enemy and not retreating from the battlefield and whose only objective is to make the word of Allah supreme and humiliate the disbelievers and not for any worldly gain. Abu Musa al-Ash'ari, may Allah be pleased with him, reported that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked about who fights in the battlefield out of valor or out of zeal or out of showing off. Which of this is considered as fighting in the cause of Allah. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, He who fights in order that the word of Allah remains the supreme is considered fighting in the cause of Allah. Second, the martyr of this life. It is he who is killed in a battle against the disbelievers but stole from the duties of war or fought out of valor, or out of zeal, or out of racism, or for any other worldly purpose, and not for the sake of making the word of Allah supreme. Such a person, even though all the rulings of a martyr is applied to him in this life, such as burying him with his clothes, and not washing him, yet he will not have any share in the reward of the hereafter. On the other hand, we as Muslims are commanded to treat people with what appears from their action and leave the judgment of their hearts and intentions and their recompense, whether good or bad, to Allah. Third, the martyr of the hereafter. It is the one who will get the reward of a martyr in the hereafter, but the rulings of a regular dead person is applied to him in this life when burying him. Examples for this type is the person who is killed oppressively but not during a battle or death due to certain diseases. A person who dies drowning unless he unnecessarily risked himself and thus drowned or he was on his way to commit a sin or any type of disobedience. In such a case, it is different. Undoubtedly, being killed in the battlefield is the highest form of martyrdom, and such a person gets the highest reward, and no other type of martyr will reach its rank. In clarifying the reward of a martyr, Allah says in verses 169 through 171 of chapter Al-Imran, وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ الَّذِينَ قُتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتًا بَلْ أَحْيَاءٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ يُرْزَقُونَ فَرِحِينَ بِمَا آتَاهُمُ اللَّهُ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ وَيَسْتَبِشِرُونَ وَيَسْتَبِشِرُونَ بِالَّذِينَ لَمْ يَلْحَقُوا بِهِمْ مِنْ خَلْفِهِمْ أَلَّا قَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ أَلَّا قَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ يَسْتَبِشِرُونَ بِنِعْمَةٍ مِّنَ اللَّهِ وَفَضْلٍ وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُضِيعُ أَجْرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ The Prophet وسلم, also encouraged seeking martyrdom in various narrations. In the books of Imams At-Tirmidhi and Ibn Majah, may Allah have mercy upon them, Al-Miqdam ibn Ma'd Karib, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated that the Prophet وسلم, said, A martyr has six bounties. He will be forgiven with the first drop of his blood that is spilt. 
He will see his place in paradise at the time of death. He will be saved from the great horror on the day of judgment. A crown of dignity will be placed on his head, which contains many corandums, each one being more precious than this life and all it contains. He will have 72 women of paradise and he will be allowed to intercede for 70 of his family members who would have otherwise gone to hell. If a person sincerely asks Allah to grant him martyrdom, then Allah will grant him the reward of martyrdom even if he was not killed in the battlefield during jihad. Sa'id ibn Hunayf, may Allah be pleased with him, reported that the Prophet ﷺ said, he who sincerely asks Allah for martyrdom, Allah will raise him to the high status of martyrs even if he dies on his bed. This is mentioned in the book of Imam Muslim, may Allah have mercy upon him. Going back to the third type, which is the martyrs of the hereafter. Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him, reported that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whom do you reckon to be martyr amongst you. The companions, may Allah be pleased with them, replied, the one who is killed in Allah's way. He sallallahu alayhi wa said, in that case, the martyrs among my people would be few. The companions asked, O Messenger of Allah, then who are the martyrs? He sallallahu alayhi wa replied, he who is killed in the way of Allah is a martyr. He who dies naturally in the cause of Allah is a martyr. He who dies in plague is a martyr. He who dies of a stomach disease is a martyr. And he who is drowned is a martyr. It's mentioned in the book of Imam Muslim. May Allah have mercy upon him. There is another narration which mentions more types of martyrs. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said, The martyrs are of five kinds. One who dies of plague, one who dies of a disease in his stomach, the drowned, one who dies under the debris of construction, and one who dies while fighting in the way of Allah. Another type is a woman who dies whilst delivering or as a result of delivery. The Prophet ﷺ said, the one who dies of Zatul Jamb is a martyr. That will jump is a disease in which a swelling happens in the membrane under the rib bones that could lead to death. From the contemporary diseases to which this also applies is death due to cancer. Dying due to the sickness of tuberculosis is another type of martyrdom. The Prophet ﷺ said, Dying due to tuberculosis is martyrdom. Dying whilst defending one's wealth is martyrdom. The Prophet ﷺ said, Whoever is killed whilst defending his wealth is a martyr. Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, A man came to the Messenger of Allah ﷺ and asked, O Messenger of Allah, what shall I do if someone comes to me with the intention of taking away my property? He ﷺ replied, do not hand it over to him. The man asked, What should I do if he fights me? The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Then fight him. The man asked, What will be my position in the hereafter if he has killed me? The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, In that case, you are a martyr. The man again asked, What if I killed him? The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, He will be in the hellfire. O Muslims, another great type of martyrdom is dying in fire. As the Prophet ﷺ said, dying in fire, i.e. being burnt, is a martyrdom. Therefore, the person who dies burning is a martyr. A noteworthy thing to state in this regard is that people should not be labeled as martyrs left and right, because Allah is the only one who knows who died as a martyr and who did not? We ask Allah to finish our lives as martyrs.